What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a dope off meta team. We are rocking out with a Ho-Oh and Lugia Gen 2 only team. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you want to stay up to date on all of my content, click the epic red subscribe button and turn on those notification bells. Want to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers and everyone supporting me. It really does go a long way. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. My boy Brad sent me his team over in my Twitter DMs. If you guys want to send me rental code teams, you guys know the deal. Go over to my Twitter page. Link is down in the description below. DM me or just tweet at me. Your guys' is the codes. I love getting them. I love looking at them. And most of the time, I do use fan-made teams. So I absolutely love getting your guys' teams. But like I said, huge shout out to Brad. Brad, thank you so much for leaving the team. But let's get started with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Ho-Oh. Definitely a solid little restricted mod. Not the best, but a solid restricted mod for Series 12. It's got Regenerator alongside with the Safety Goggles as item. And it's got its normal move set of Protect. Brave Bird and Sacred Fire. And then last but not least, we got Recover to get that HP back. Right next to him is going to be this lovely weakness policy, Lugia with multi-skill. Lugia is one of those Pokemon who is really only good if you can get that weakness policy proc. Without it, it doesn't do enough damage in my opinion. We got Aero Blast, we got Shadow Ball, we got Earth Power, and then last but not least, we have Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be middle left. It is going to be him on top over here. A great lead and a great Pokemon at proc into Lugia's uh, weakness policy. We got Intimidate, we got Eject Button so we can swap out. We got Fake Out for Flinches, Close Combat for big stab damage. Sucker Punch, like I just said, to actually uh, trigger that weakness policy on Lugia. And then last but not least, we have Fate, which hits through Protect. Really, really good move. So if we know a Pokemon's going to Protect on low HP, we can just feign it, do some damage, and finish it off. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Umbreon. And Umbreon is so good. It is so, like, defensively bulky. And it is a great support mod. So I really do like Umbreon in most situations. It's got inner focus, so it can't be faked out. It also has leftovers to recover HP at the end of every single turn. And then it has this amazing move set of foul play for big damage on big physical attackers. Snarl for special attack drops. Moonlight to get some HP back. And Yawn to put opposing Pokemon to sleep. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Suicune over here. And Suicune is another one of those solid support mods. It's got Snarl just like Umbreon. It's got Scald for stab. Tailwind for speed control and protect. And then it's rocking inner focus alongside with the Citrus Berry as item. Final Pokemon is going to be another Inner Focus Pokemon. It is going to be Raikou. So we are just ripping on the uh, on the Inner Focus board today. We got Focus Sash, Inner Focus, like I just said. And then we got Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Scald, and Reflect to protect us from physical attackers. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the red code is chilling at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Gen 2 only team. We got two problems before we start battle number one. One, we're going up against probably a top tier meta team. I hate going up against top tier meta teams when I'm using an off meta team. And our second problem is there's a fly in my room. And it's kind of bothering me because it's kind of just swirling around my recording setup. So if you see me like swatting, looking around, it's probably the fly. It is probably the fly. He's on my light right now. And I really just want to punch my light out. But, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna let him chill out for a little bit. If he doesn't bother me, I won't bother him. So <laughs> we'll go from there. But we're hopping into our first battle, battle. Like I said, going up against probably one of the strongest meta teams in the game right now. Uh, how should we play this one? How should we go into it? I could go him on top because it could be solid. And I could proc policy on Lugia, which would not be bad. It would not be bad whatsoever. I kind of want to do that, but I'm kind of scared of him leading like a, uh, a Zapdos lead. He might lead Zapdos lead up. Definitely not bringing Ho-Oh in the back end. And then last but not least, I think we're just going to go Umbreon for a nice little support. Or we could go Tailwind. We could go a little Tailwind Pokemon, but Umbreon is real nice. Umbreon is real nice with all the Yawns and all that good stuff. Nice little defensive specialist. Where do I want to go Suicune? Suicune's not bad either. Suicune is not bad either. It has the water and more importantly, it has a speed control. Like if we can get off a Tailwind with him, he can be gorgeous. I might go Suicune here. But I want you Suicune. Yeah, I do want Suicune. It's either Suicune or Umbreon. I'm leaning towards you. I'm leaning towards Suicune. We have Snarl just like Umbreon, so I think we should be fine. I think Lugia and Ho are going to carry the most of the offense power with this team. And the back end support is just going to be them. But uh, yeah, let's get rocking with this. Let's get rocking with this. I wonder who he's going to lead. I do wonder who he's going to lead. I would love the Dynamax to get off a weakness policy proc, but at the same time, I would love the fake out. But I do have my eject button, which is gorgeous. My lovely little eject button. So let's see what he does. He's going to end up going into Grimstarl and, ooh, nice little Intimidate here. Nice, lovely little Intimidate. So he might actually protect that Zassian. And with that said, I'm just going to proc policy and go after that, uh, and go after that, uh, Grimstarl. I'll take a speed boost here as well. I really do think Zassian protects turn one. Intimidate's out here. We're dropping attack. That's gorgeous. That's a lovely little turn. So he probably thinks I'm faking him out. But nah, I'm just going to Dynamax get after his battle. I play all day. Sucker Punch. Where's my Sucker Punch? Sucker Punch. Right into Lugia. Dynamax. And we're just going to send a solid Max Harrison. Yeah, I definitely want a little bit of speed here. 
And then if he wants to eject button my uh him on top back, that's totally fine. If not, I am cool with that. I wouldn't mind it because then I would just get out uh probably like Suicune at this point. So I get speed that way. But now I wish I would have had Umbreon. But I just realized we could just airstream for speed. We can legit just airstream for speed. But I hope that he's gonna protect his Asian. That'd be a huge turn. If he just protects Asian thinking that we're gonna fake him out, we could be sitting so pretty. We could be sitting so pretty. So let's see how this one plays out. Protect his ass. Just protect him. That's all we need. Sucker Punch comes through. He does not protect. I do not like that. Leave me alone. Hit my hit my top. Assassin, hit my hit my top. He is even on the attack board. So it's, he's still going to do like good damage, but he's not going to do like as much as he does. So we just policy is proxy. He's going to thunder wave me. How dare you thunder wave me? How dare you do that? I'm going to miss my turn. I just have a feeling. He's going to go for a player off, and that's just going to dump on me, right? You dead? Yeah, hit my top. No chance. No chance of surviving. We go from there. At least I'm not paralyzed and we get off this airstream. Airstream flying out here and about. How much damage are we going to do? Big time KO. So big time weakest policy KO. He gets off no screens, which is rather big too. Which is rather big. And I could go into Ho-Oh here. ho is pretty solid. It's either ho -Oh or Suicune. Like, what would Suicune do? Set up a Tailwind, Snarl out. I don't know. That's about it. Ho-Oh, if he has Kyogre in the back end, that could do me dirty. So I am going to go into Suicune here. I am going to go into Suicune here. So Suicune's gonna come out for me. I could take a little bit of speed control with Tailwind, and he's gonna go in the. I'm thinking Kyogre, right? Incineroar is gonna poke out here. So Incineroar pokes out here. He gets a minus one. He can fake me out. He can kind of do all that stuff. Um, actually, he can't. I'm inner focus, which is gorgeous. This is lovely. That is lovely. So I'm just gonna go uh, try to take out this ass in here. I'm gonna try to take out this ass in here. I could end up protecting. Do I go for a quake in this ass in, or do I take a bit more speed? I think quake's gonna be your play. Let's just quake right in this Pokemon and try to get some speed. Then later, he's going to have to set the range. There's no doubt in my mind he has Kyogre in the back end. And then I can legit just scald down this Incineroar. I'm just going to go for a Behemoth Blade. Like I said, it's going to do damage, but I don't think it's just going to dump on me. So we should be able to soak this up, no problem. Yeah, we get his defensively bulk, which is gorgeous. And as long as I'm not paralyzed this turn, we should be fine. As long as I'm not paralyzed, then here it comes. Here comes the paralyzed, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. We get off a beautiful Max Quake. Hopefully this KOs. We're weak as possible, but it is coverage. And it picks up the KO. Let's go. That's a big turn for us. He still has Dynamax, which he's going to do next turn. Which he's definitely going to do next turn. But we have lovely speed. We have a lovely special defense boost going on. Um, I think at this point, if he throws out Kyogre, I really just want to start snarling down. And he's going to party shot. That's totally fine. We're going to go to even on the board. Or no, no, no. We're going to be plus one. That's still solid. That's still solid. So we have speed all around. I could start dropping defense. I do have uh, what's called in the back end. Who do I have in the back end? What Pokemon? Do, oh, I have, I have Ho Oh in the back end. Kyogre is going to be annoying here if it comes out. It is going to be Kyogre. There's a little tough. There's a little tough little customer. So he's going to Dynamax in it, and I'm just going to start Snarling. I'm just going to start Snarling. Right? Snarl and go for special offense boost for my team. Yeah, that's definitely my play. Because he can't fake any of my Pokemon out. I'm Dynamax on Lugia's side, and I'm inner focus onto the uh, Speaking slot. So if I can get another special defense boost, this. uh. And a snarl off, we can pretty much just like kind of just lower him down. My only problem here is going to be that uh that Kyogre. Man. It's definitely Dynamax. Man. Yeah, that's gonna be my play. My play all day. As much as I just want to scold into that Incineroar, I need to get off snarl drops because I know he has that Dynamax and I know he's ready to roll. And I know that he's ready to roll. Because Ho Oh in the back end is really not gonna do much. Wait, right? it's not gonna do too much unless you know his Dynamax is over and we can get speed from him. And drop a Brave Bird, that's pretty much all it's going to do. Because uh, he's not surviving a shot. Right? No shot he's surviving a water shot from Kyogre. Right? It's just not happening. It's just not happening. And the Raikou would have been a great, a great Pokemon here. But Suicune's doing some work. Suicune is a lovely little Pokemon here. I just knew I needed somebody with, like, Snarl. So, like, Umbreon would have been solid. I think I think Suicune was the right call. So the Tailwind was big for us. All that was big. But I know my problem here is going to be Lugia is due for a Paralyzed Mist turn. And I think this one's going to be a turn. And that could be rough for us. That could really do us dirty. That could really do us dirty. I would rather it be next turn because I would love to get off the Dynamax and Special Defense Boost here. It could just be so big. So Snarl's going to fly out here. Beautiful. And go next, Lugia. You're in the Tailwind. You are in the Tailwind. I know you're paralyzed, but go next. You are in the Tailwind. Kyrie actually might go next. And there it is, yo. I knew it was coming, yo. I'm paralyzed and I missed my turn. He's going to Max Lightning me. I should be able to soak that up. It's easy soak. So he's wasting some turns here. I'm cool with that. I'm going to just keep Snarl dropping. That's so... That is... That's a rough turn right there. That's a real rough turn. That's a real rough turn right there. Definition of a rough turn. He's gonna go for a flare, but... So, oh my god, we're gonna soak this up no problem. Easiest soak ever. 
Easiest soak ever. <laughs> Look at that. In the rain. I don't think he has. Oh, get. Come on. Come on now. That should that should not be allowed. Gets a burn on me in the rain. That should not be allowed. Get that out of my face. <laughs> get that out of here. Get that out of my face. That should not be allowed. That should definitely not be allowed. Uh, I, at this point, I'm just going to snarl again. Do I still have Tailwind? My real question. I do still have Tailwind for two turns. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. But yo, that should not be allowed. That should definitely not be allowed. I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to Earth Power you down. I'm not going to really do too much damage Kyogre. I'm just going to have to keep pestering around and uh, dropping a special attack. That should not be allowed. Burn? Come burn in the rain on a water Pokemon. Should not be allowed. Should not be allowed. So going to drop another Snarl. That's that's huge for us. Drop that Kyogre special attack again. And I think Lugia should be able to eat up whatever Kyogre I has to offer. Even a Max Lightning. Actually, it's in a terrain now. I'm paralyzed again. Come on, man. One turn was enough. One turn was enough. He's going to end up geysering. We could eat this up. Can we eat this up? Eat Lugia. Eat this up. Oh, beautiful, Lugia. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we know we outspeed next turn. He's going to end up Flare Blitzing again. Come on. Get on my face. And at this point, I think... uh Oh, that's going to KO me. Never mind. Never mind. He KOs me. At this point, I was thinking of Snarling. I am thinking of Snarling. But I might just... uh Instead of Snarling, just Scald into the Incineroar. And then protect my Ho-Oh. What's your speed, Ho-Oh? No real question. 120. Do I protect this turn? I have to protect this turn. I'm going to protect this turn. Stop this Max Geyser. I'm going to Scald into the Incineroar as Rain is still out on the field. And then I'm going to maybe recover next turn. Try to take some speed with Tailwind. Hi, my play. Scald. And just protect. Because I'd rather him protect this Max Geyser. Let's see what he does. He's got a Geyser. There's no way he goes for the Max Lightning on the Suicune. He knows my Suicune isn't really a threat too much, right? Skulls can come out here. How much damage are we going to do here? In the rain? Beautiful damage. Beautiful damage. But he probably has a berry, right? He does not have a berry. Here comes the Geyser. Geyser got to be going after Ho-Oh. He's minus two. Ho-Oh is pretty bulked up and he has Protect. So that's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. The, the problem is Tailwind is gone. He's going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. Fire type two. Can we be burned like that? I don't know. I mean, that's crazy. He's actually rocking that. Um, Tailwind's going to peter out. And at this point, I think I just recover with Lugia. Well, not Lugia. With Ho-Oh. And I go for Tailwind. Right, yeah. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. He's minus two. He's minus two. I think we should be fine. Because if I can get this recover... If I if my Ho-Oh can just like eat up whatever shot and we can Tailwind, we can have a lot of speed control here. And then I can just rip into Brave Birds. I can go into Scald. I do kind of like that, but I just wish I could protect. Reco oh, I outspeed. I outspeed. That's tough news. But still, I'll, I'll take full HP. Tailwind's still out? No, we're setting up a new town. Wow, both my Pokemon already outspeed. Tailwind was not needed. It was not needed. Origin Pulse can come through here. Oh, oh, dodges it. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, dodges it. My Suicune's going to be able to soak up all day. And we're going to get after spell. Wow, I didn't even need that. I didn't even need that. I'll take it all day. Will of us can come out here, do a fire type. It does not affect me. Get out of here. Rain stops. Skull should still be able to pick up the KO. And then I can legit just brain bird, right? Wow. I'm su I'm surprised we outspeed. That Kyogre is slow. That Kyogre is definitely slow. But yeah, Skull's going to poke here. I'm going to get these brain birds, start chipping up damage on this thing. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We outspeed these guys already. That was just a waste of a turn, but hey, it's all good. He misses, uh, he misses Origin Pulse. Which I still think my Ho-Oh was eating up. Like, what do? I would just recover next turn. We would have been thriving. Baby Bird's going to come out here. Send it, baby. Chip up some mean damage on this Pokemon. Mean damage isn't even worth it. That's a lot of damage. There. That's a lot of damage. Skull comes through. It connects. We're going to say bye-bye to Instant Lord. And this first battle is solid. Solid long. As long as uh, as long as long my Ho eats up whatever this uh, Kyogre has to offer. Should be fine here. Probably another Origin Pulse, right? Oh, should be able to eat this up, right? Oh, you can eat this up. He's a minus two. Yeah, oh my god. That's easy, so That's GG's. GG's. Your boy prevails out. The Lugia proc and weakness policy with him on top. Him on top dying early on. Lugia carrying. And then Suicune coming in the back end doing a lot of work. The Snarls, the Scalds, everything was great. And the inner focus allowed him not to be faked out, which was just enormous. So Suicune was definitely a solid pick for me. I ended up taking Suicune late. I was like, do I take Suicune or Umbreon? I ended up taking Suicune and really came out clutch. So I'm just going to Snarl here and I'm just going to drop a Brave Bird. But I, I believe our opponent just cancels battle, right? Cancel battle. Jeans takes battle number one. It's not, oh, yeah, he does. I was going to say he does it, but there's battle number one. We go 1-0. and oh, Let's hop into number two. We just dominated a top-tier off-meta team with this Gen 2 only team. You got to love it. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against another top-tier meta team, Shadow Rider Calyrex and Kyogre with Regilecki, Tornadus, Amoongus, and Indeedee. How should we play this one? How should we go out and about with it? Um, I mean, him on top solid. 
I really do like him on top just for lead because if he does lead to Calyrex, we can still uh, sucker punch it and, and, you know, do some big damage to it. We could lead Lugia again because even if he does pop Psychic Terrain with that Indeed, we can still sucker punch into Lugia and kind of go out from there. Another Pokemon that I really like in this situation could be Raikou, but I'm leaning more towards like Umbreon. Umbreon's really solid here. He has a lot of special attackers. I definitely want Umbreon in this move. So do I go Umbreon turn one? I could go Umbreon. Mm. Umbreon's not bad. I really do like him on top. I could go Ho-Oh as lead. ho is not too shabby. It's okay. Really, what do I want to do here? I could Dynamax Ho-Oh. If he wants to go Kyogre, we can just change up weather. Wouldn't be too shabby. Not be too bad. But I just feel like this Lugia lead solid. I just feel like the Lugia lead is solid. We're going to go Umbreon. We're going to go Ho-Oh. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. So same squad pretty much. Just switching out the uh, Suicune for the Umbreon. But I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. I really want to do a different lead, but the, the Luki is just looking like our best option. Here. It really is. It really is looking like our best option. But we definitely need to lead him on top due to the A, the fake out, B, the intimidate, and C, it can proc policy. Lugia and plus has Sucker Punch if he's not going into second. So let's see what he does. Is he going double down with the Ndidi Calyrex? Ooh, we, we don't mind this. We don't mind this one bit. I'm going to have this uh, Regilecki pop my policy. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have... Uh, I'm gonna have Lugia pop my policy. Or not Lugia. Reg Lucky. I'm gonna Dynamax here. I am going to Dynamax. And at this point, do I get a little bit of speed here or do I just quake? I think I'm gonna just quake for special defense boost. Probably my best bet, right? And sucker punch right into you. The Yaw eat. Get it for that. And then uh Dynamax just stop quake. I'm with it. I am with it. You can proc my policy. Reg Lucky, we do have multi skill, which could uh help us soak up that first shot. I'm with it. I am with it. Little sucker punch, dude. Little sucker punch ready to roll. So we are gonna be able to get off at least one sucker punch. Because we do have a jack button, jack button's probably gonna swap us out. Kinda tough because I would love to have him on top out here for another turn. Because I know that this shadow rider calyx is going to be weak. Which is rather annoying. It definitely is rather annoying. So let's see what he does here. Let's see how he plays. Actually, yo, who's faster? Hopefully Regilecki's faster, so the multi-scale can trigger. Because I would rather Reg Lucky hit me first, multi scale pop, and then we go from there instead of his uh, Calyrex going first, taking off my multi scale and then do a bigger damage on me. Let's see how this one plays. I'm gonna drop a nice lovely sucker punch, coming in hot, bang, big old damage, and he's sashed. And he is sashed, which is rather annoying. We hate the focus sash, but it's all good. It's all good. He's gonna e web here. That's fine. We're gonna be uh, multi scale here. He is gonna drop our speed. More importantly, we're gonna get this defense boost, and I do not see what's called taking me out whatsoever. Oh, we have a jack button too. We have lovely little jack button. So I could go to Umbreon. I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards Umbreon. Umbreon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get Umbreon out and about. We'll get Umbreon out here. You can soak up this Astro Barrage. And then uh, Lukia could take out this uh, this Regilecki, no problem. And then we can both get a special defense boost. Which is huge for us. So there's Astro Barrage. We soak up all day. Lukia actually soaks it, it soaks up really well. And then Quake's gonna fly. So we're, we're thriving here. This should KO even without. We, actually, he did proc my policy already. Beautiful. So Regilecki's gone. We're plus one on special uh, defense. And I can just snarl and take out that. Uh, what's going on? No problem. I can just snarl and take out that. Uh, that Calyrex. So hopefully he goes into a special attacker where snarl can actually do a lot more work. Because we can get a special attack shop onto whoever he goes on the field. So not a bad first turn for us. Especially going up against Regilecki and Calyrex. Solid turn for us. A jack button coming in hot. We still have our boy in the back end. It's looking lovely. And we can just snarl this Pokemon. I do dig it. I do dig it. We're both plus one on special defense. I might boost special defense again. Or I can take a little bit of speed here. But yeah, snarl's going to come out here. And do I take speed or do I... Uh, do, I do I go for speed or do I quake? I'm kind of lean towards quake. Speed's not bad. Especially for snarling. I'm just going to get some speed here. I'm just going to get some speed here. He's going to go for Astro Barrage. My boy Soak. And can any of you guys go first? I think Kyrie's gonna go first. What's Water Spout's gonna poke out here? Yes, yeah, should be fine. Beautiful. Solid. Solid. Beautiful. So Airstream's gonna poke here. Do some nice damage on the Kyrie. Maybe take him out, right? No, we do not. But we're gonna get some speed, which is huge. Which is huge for us. And then Snarl's gonna poke here. Take out Calyrex. Deal some damage over onto that Kyogre. We're looking pretty solid here. We are look definitely looking pretty solid here. But my one problem here is the what's it called? My one problem is going to be this next Pokemon I throws out. It's going to be his Dynamax. It is going to be his Dynamax. Man. I could Moonlight for some HP. I could Protect out. But uh, I wonder if Umbreon can outspeed this Kyogre. 
I do not know. I know Lugia can't because actually Lugia might be able to because back to normal on speed. It was minus one. He's gonna throw out his final mon and it's going to be this guy who's probably gonna He's gonna be forced to Dynamax this guy, right? He's gonna be forced to Dynamax it. And you know what? I'm just gonna yawn on it. I could moonlight it. What's your speed at? You might just tail him. You might just tail him, which is looking kinda scary. You might just tailwind it. It's looking definitely scary. So we're back to normal on speed. Ah, what do I do? Airstream Quake? What a yawn that thing. There's no terrain out, right? Is there a terrain? No, there's no terrain on the field. No terrain. Um I really feel like just getting rid of you. Yeah, let's get rid of let's get rid of this Kyogre. Let's yawn into that thing. He's gonna icy wind me. And Luki's gonna dodge it. That's huge. Luki, can you outspeed? Luki can outspeed. This could be huge, but I don't think he is going to. Let me go for an orange bulls. Who's dodging that? Umbreon with the dodge. Luki. Oh, double dodge. Double dodge. That just solidified the battle. That's GG's. That's GG's. So, Kyogre's going to go down here. We're going to yawn on this thing. If he wants to Dynamax, he can Dynamax. But, yeah. I feel like we just took out all of his opportunities to Dynamax turn one. But I, fe I felt like uh, he was relying on that Kyogre to drop a big old water spout and roll out from there. And, like, do some bigger damage than that and pick up the KOs. But we were boosted on special defense. We were thriving with it. We were thriving with it. We yawn in this. And we have a chance to, uh... We have a chance to sweep. We have a lovely chance to sweep. We double dodge Origin Pulse. I feel bad for that guy because RNG definitely did him a little dirty. But I feel like... I think Lugia was eating up an Origin Pulse. Maybe not Umbreon. So... I think we would have been fine with just that airstream. We are chilling. We are chilling. But, uh, yeah. I'm just going to drop a, uh... Good Moonlight. Get some HP back. Yeah, I'm gonna moonlight here and I can protect Lugia, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. But I think he cancels the battle. Or he might Dynamax. Let's see what he's gonna do. I'm surprised he has Dynamax. Surprised he has Dynamax. He might do it. He, he might go for a last ditch effort, but we're looking for the sweep, so I'm just gonna protect and play this one slow and uh moonlight with my Umbreon. That is huge. That is huge. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. I could I could have swapped into him on top. But he's just gonna cancel battle. There it is, yo. Two and zero with this Gen two only team. We are rolling strong. I have exceeded my own expectations with this team. We are sitting two and zero. We've been dominating meta teams, heavy meta teams. We're in the third and final battle, and once again, we're going up against a heavy meta team. We got the Groudon, Sassy, and Charizard with Incineroar, Gastrodon, and Grimmsnarl. This team was definitely top tier at one moment of this uh, of this series. I think it is still top ten team. It is definitely full blown heavy meta, very strong team. But we gotta watch out for that Zassian Growl alongside with Charizard. Definitely all looking scary. But how should we go into this one? How should we lead it? I think Umbreon or Suicune could be a solid lead just due to Snarls and kind of going after it that way. So I might want to lead like Suicune. Maybe get a little speed control because Inner Focus works really well here as well. And I kind of want to hit him on top just for that physical attack job if he wants to go into physical attackers like Groudon or Charizard. I'm kind of with it. But Charizard is looking scary with that Airstream, man. It's just not looking good. It's just not looking good. So I'm kind of leaning towards Umbreon here. Or do I go Suicune and maybe like a Pokemon like Ho-Oh? Yeah, I can give that a try. I can give that a try. I just don't want to do the Lugia and the uh, the Ho-Oh combo. But uh, who should my final Pokemon be? I really don't want Raikou here. Sorry, Raikou. You're not coming in today's video. <laughs> but it's either Umbreon or Hitmontop. I'm kind of leaning towards Hitmontop just because, uh, you know, close combat intimidates fake outs. I do dig it. I do dig it. But let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record here. Obviously, I probably wanted to leave my Lugia combo. It might have been my best bet. But, you know, we just, you know, like, I, I'm not playing to win. I'm playing to make you guys some cool content. So I don't want to use the same exact thing every single time. We just showcased it in the first two and absolutely ripped with it. We did rip with it. But uh, let's see what he goes into. Charizard and Zass. Dang, dude, we should have let her Intimidate. Intimidate would have been lovely. It would have been lovely. But we're going to go Ho-Oh here. Ho's not too shabby. Ho's not going to be bad here with that with this fire move. I could Tailwind set up uh, Charizard. Uh, Charizard's looking eh. It's, he looks like he's going to Dynamax Charizard. I'm just going to set up a Tailwind here. I'm just going to drop a Sacred Fire into the slot. Because if he swaps into Groudon, that's totally fine. If he doesn't, that's, that, that's totally fine too. Because <laughs> Groudon's going to take a big amount of damage when he brings it into Heat. See, he's not Fire type. He's just straight up Ground. And then we have a chance to burn. So he's going to end up withdrawing Zastian, throwing out Groudon, practicing Solar Power, right? Is that fine? Yes. Cool. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Totally fine. Totally fine. Cool with it all day. So he's gonna drought. He's gonna Dynamax. And I wonder what he's gonna do with Charizard. Probably Airstream maybe into my uh so we can we definitely see that happening. But both my Pokemon should be able to eat up whatever this guy has to offer. Whatever he has to offer. Maybe I should have Dynamax. I could have Dynamax over, which could be. But I wonder what moves Charizard's rocking. Hopefully he's not rocking the ancient power moveset where he has a rock move. 
that's four times super effective to my ho oh and at that point ho oh just gets absolutely ripped and dumped on which will be no good will do me no good let's see what he does and of course he's dude every time i say something like that it always happens he goes in the rock fall ho oh is dead on 1000 percent see you later buddy ah man every time i say something like that every single time every single time i mean he changes up weather which isn't bad but uh we're gonna have to bring out lugia and dynamax to lugia right, if he wants to drop a rock onto my lugia that's totally fine that one's gonna come out and about we're gonna take a little bit of speed i'm gonna get ripping i'm gonna get ripping i'm gonna get ripping and i'm gonna just save my hit my top for the back end that hurts his soul that hurts his soul because i at least want it one turn not like i at least want it one turn with my uh with my lovely little uh oh, oh. i just want it one turn just want it one turn boy she's ripping with that move set it's like it's more of like a like 70 percent of chargers do not rock with that move set 70 percent i mean we do have tail went out i could scald i'm thinking of just double down actually i could go into you and look for a burn which could be big for us i'm actually gonna do that i'm gonna go there and then i could airstream try to keep some speed on our side hmm i'm gonna airstream into this charizard airstream into this lovely charizard trying to get a burn onto that uh ground on yeah we got we gotta start ripping up all this damage but he's definitely gonna go into a uh a g max wildfire soon I mean, if he doesn't, that's a huge benefit for us, but there's no chance he doesn't. That's like one of the best moves. Even after his Dynamax, it's doing, what is it? One six to one eight damage. I think it might be one six HP every single turn for four turns. It's OP. It really is OP. When I end up dropping a nice big old Airstream, giving us a little bit more speed just in case he wants to go into an Airstream and chipping up some more damage onto Charizard. And hopefully we can get this burn on this ground. This can be a game changer. If we get this burn onto this ground on here. It's gonna be enormous for us. Scald's gonna poke through here. It is gonna end up connecting, which we love. Give me, give me the burn. Give me the burn. Show me the burn. All day. All day. No burn. Ouch. That one hurts. He's gonna airstream. We kind of already canceled that out. That's huge for us. And he's gonna go into Suicune. Suicune. Doo -doo -doo. And hopefully he drops a rock slide. I would love for him to drop a rock slide here. Drop a rock slide. He goes for blades. Okay. It's fine. Doesn't affect Lugia. And Suicune dodges it. We love it. We love it. So I could double down into uh, Charizard here and take him out. Which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of doing. Citrus Barry is going to poke here. And yeah, I think I'm just going to take out Charizard with an Airstream and a... Uh, with an Airstream and a Skull. Probably my play, right? Probably my play. Get rid of you. So I'm not too worried about the Blades. I really am not. I'm waiting for him to kind of proc my policy. That could do me so good. That could do me so good. We're actually sitting in a decent spot. If he doesn't max guard Charizard... Charizard goes down here without a turn, and then, I mean, Groudon gets off of Blades, maybe? Does not take on my Suicune, and Lugia, it won't affect him. So this can be big for us. Yeah, he's not going to guard. This is a huge turn for us. A huge turn for us. The Airstream's going to do that much damage. We're going to get a little bit of speed here. Suicune is going to take out Charizard, no problem. We're going to say bye-bye to the Zard. Like, it's not like we're sitting bad. We should get one more turn off with Suicune, and then maybe go for another Scald into Groudon and look for a burn on that way. Or if he throws out a Special Attacker. I could obviously go into a snarl, but it really depends on the situation because I can also quake and get a special defense boost that way. He's going to go for blades. Lugia says, nah, yo. Don't affect me. And so we can should be able to soak all day. Yeah, cool. Gets a crit, too. He gets a crit. I was wondering why it did so much damage. Because he got a crit. Because he got a crit. So going to take buffets. Uh, can we eat up one more buffet? We can. We did 12 damage. Beautiful. We can. We can. We can. The speed's on our side due to Tailwind and everything. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And let's see who he throws out here. Let's see who you throw out here. It is going to be bum ba da bum. Incineroar. Uh okay. He can't pick me out. Oh dude, I love inner focus. <laughs> I love inner focus. At this point, I am just going to quake and snarl, right? Or not snarl. Quake and scold. I mean that slot. It's gotta be the play, right? That's gotta be the play. I have him on top in the back, and he has Zassian. He does have Zassian, which isn't too bad here. He's gonna fake me out. Oh no, he just wants the damage. Can we eat that? He can. We can eat that. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. This thing is ripping with the Shukaberry, but yo, we ate that up. We ate that up, which is just a big turn for us. This is a real big turn for us. So we get off another Skull, which is enormous. And hopefully, just hopefully, we get off this burn. Hopefully, we get off this burn. This going to be a big burn. Then I get, I get to bring out him on top with Intimidate, which is eh, because I really wanted to save him for Zacian. But my boy has some speed on the board. My Lugia has some speed, which is good. Skull's going to come out here. Give me the burn. Throw it to me. Throw it to me. Yes, let's go. Let's go. We get off a huge burn. Stone Edge is poking here, and he finally pops my policy. He finally pops my policy. 
The policy is now popped. I'm so cool with this. I am so cool with this turn. All right, so policy's pop. Uh, and what do I do? It's my player. It's my play. I have fake out ready to roll. Burn's gonna chip up onto the ground. I think I'm just gonna fake out the ground, right? And just EP. That what's called? I still have a jackpot, but it's not gonna do anything. We can't swap. And then I think I'm just gonna EP it and some more. That's a big time burn. Intimidate on both these guys. They're not really gonna do much damage. But Zassian, we know Zassian coming at back and do some. Zassian is definitely a little scary, scary Pokemon. So obviously, uh, I mean, we don't have speed on that Groudon, so I really just want to go into a fake out onto him and Earth Power this way. That's my play because Groudon does have plus one on speed, so we should be finishing him on top. But again, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm only worried about Zassian, you know. I'm really only worried about Zassian. Zacian, Zacian. How do you guys pronounce it? How do you guys pronounce it? I say Zacian all the time, but I hear a lot of people say Zacian. Big House can come out here. Him on top is going to do a little top spin on his head, which we're just Earth Power is going to fly through. I think this should be able to pick up KO. We're weak to policy proc. Yes, sir. Yo, dude, we are doing amazing with this team. Even though we might lose this battle because Zacian's going to come out here and do some work, we are doing amazing with this team. The way that we we're playing, like, I, again, I had I didn't have high expectations for this team. I was just like, Gen 2 team. With Lugia and Ho-Oh, I was like, eh, it doesn't, it's not looking too hot. But, dude, it is phenomenal. Yo, my boy Brad, huge shout-out to you for making this team. It is doing ridiculously good. Doing way better than I expected to. Let's go. Let's go. So, we have we have Groudon down here. And I'm really not worried about Groudon too much. Well, my only problem would be if he uh, double protects here. Well, not double protects. Uh, just protects the uh, Sassy one. Because I feel like doubling down into it, right? I feel like doubling down into it. But I don't see him doing that much damage with this one. Right Unless he gets a crit with Stone Edge, that's the only, only way, which can happen. It definitely can happen. But I just think we double down into him. I think we just close combat with EP. Let's do it. Let's double down. You're not protecting. He ain't doing it. He, he's not doing it. He knows his Groudon's weak with the burn. It's not going to protect Sassian. I know Lugia is fastest. Him on top's going to go last. But Earth Power's going to come out here. This shouldn't KO, but should do a good amount of damage. Yeah, great amount of damage. Wishing him on top to be able to soak. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly through here. And he's going after. You gotta be going after Lugia. That's one, right? You gotta be going after Lugia. Yeah, you go after Lugia. Who should be able to soak? Let's go. Let's go. Hit my top. I need you here. So now he's gonna fly through here. Oh, Lugia. Oh, Lugia. That's gorgeous. Lugia dodges. That's GG's. That is GG's now. Actually, dude, I'm trying to think. If we didn't dodge that Stone Edge, would we have lost this game? It would have been close because we're minus one on defense. Him on top would have needed to be able to soak up a Groudon shot. Actually, no, we have Sucker Punch. And we would have won regardless. We would have won regardless, because I would just done this. I would just done that. And I'm just going to protect you. Just have some fun with it. But hit my top can come in here, clean up this battle, and your boy prevails with an amazing perfect record. An amazing perfect record. We were just outplaying our opponent the whole time. The whole time. Making great calls, making great plays. And it wasn't like we were going up against bad teams. So we went up against three top tier meta teams. Sucker Punch flies through here. Bang, bang, bang. Even if we didn't dodge that uh, Stone Edge, Lugia drops out. Him on top, KO Zassian, and then we just sucker punch and win the game. I don't think I need to say anything about this team. We just won three in a row up against top tier teams. This team is absolutely amazing. I love it. I probably, like, if you gave me, like, 10 teams to pick from and this was in the group, I would probably put it last. But now, after using it, I would probably put it in the top five. This team was absolutely amazing. Definitely a lot of fun to use. Got to use some different burst style Pokemon that you don't really get to see too often. And how often do you see a Ho-Oh and Lugia team? Never. Absolutely love it. 3-0. Grab yourselves a perfect record. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.